Welcome everybody, I'm your host Risty and this is the loser bracket finals where the winner of this best of three will go up against Curse in the grand finals for that top prize of $5,000. Now on our blue team we have Copenhagen Wolves. Now at the top it does just say Copenhagen, I did put the Copenhagen Wolves in the spectator mode but unfortunately it just wants to put Copenhagen up. I might maybe put an overlay over it later. But in the red team we have Root Gaming. Now, Root Gaming were beat out by a Curse in the semi-finals, 2-0. So it was it was quite a solid defeat there. But then again, Curse didn't lose any games previously to that. So, well, it's just how it goes, really, in, in Smite. So let's just look at the team comps. Copenhagen Wolves has taken Sobek, Ymir, Guan Yu, Anher, and Neef. And if Root Gaming have taken Hell for... Shibalonke, Odin, and Barkas. Now, kind of looking at this selection, they've got... Copenhagen Wolves have really got a tanky build going up there. They've got Ymir Sobek, which on the same team is quite a deadly combination on its own. And then they've got Guan Yu as well. So everyone's kind of set up to get their buffs. Now, Copenhagen Wolves have already taken the red buff and gone off. Uh, Root Gaming have decided not to take their red buff. And decided just to go just straight for the blue buff and get back out. But Copenhagen Wolves are going for a two buff starter that way. In the middle, Hell is taking quite a lot of damage from Neef there. Is it Sprayam? Sprayam. I'll have to try and remember the names a little bit. Sprayam there. And in the right hand side, we've got Barkas going in there on Ymir and on her. On her taking a lot of damage as well from Shibalanke's Somersault and taking a few water attacks to there. So. He's had to back out quite heavily there. He's down to about third health. Kind of needs to be really careful. Now, Ymir early on is quite squishy, but he does scale quite quite tanky later on. But, yeah, once once you get a few items under Ymir's belt, we all know how annoyingly tanky that Ymir is. Now, they're pushed right back under the tower, so Copenhagen Wolves are a bit defensive on this. Now, they're pushed under their tower left and right, but in the middle lane... Hell has been pushed back. Neef's quite strong and mo mobile, but give Hell a few more levels. Look, Hell gets snared and... S oh, a couple of voice attacks. One more, two more. Just one more. <laughs> come on. Hell, lovely heal come out from Hell there. Managed to kind of save her life there. Amazingly didn't go down. Now, Jerby done really well to keep her alive. And there th he's got the sustains coming out from Hell with that Christmas skid as well. Where is, what, what are we in? We're in March. March, yeah. So a few a few months later, a few months later, some action going on on the left hand side. Then stun will come out from four. Uh, go and use three onto Lars. Lars, yeah, Lars just taken back down to like half health. Odin as well. Spin coming out from Sobek gets all oh, the Gonyu's might on top of that, and then four uh, Gonyu charges onto Allied there. Stun wall coming out from four. Just not really doing any of his AOE attacks. Oh, he's going down really low. Using his hammer throw to get back out there. Sobek throws up Allied as well. Allied gets charged out and first blood goes to Kursk, uh, Copenhagen Wolves. God, I was going to try and say the names, but I'm just not good with the names. I'll let that go. But if we look at the builds there, we've got three, three guide, uh, guys on Copenhagen Wolves that have gone for vanguards. Obviously, the, the tanks, tank supports there. Now, we might have some action going on middle, seeing as... Root Gaming are going for their red buff now. So they might circle back around and go for mid. No, they decide just to go back, keep the farm going, and leave Hell in their own. Now, if you ever talk to like the, the pro gamers, they kind of look at mid as nothing really much to do in mid apart from just keep the farm up. Don't don't lose any kills and just keep farming. That's, that's really all they can do unless they get some early ganks in that comes across, helps out. So everyone's got their level 5 almost. Uh, Allied and Lars on the left lane, Odin and Four, are still waiting for theirs. Lars has just got his. Now, as I was saying, the three vanguards on the on Copenhagen Wolves, so they are really tanky early game there. Two death tiles coming out on the ADs. Pretty standard with level one boots. But they've got... Now, Neef has got no potions left, so she's going to have to use her sustain from her two just to kind of keep her going there against Hell. Which... It's not too bad, but it's it's very kind of like sketchy to rely on it. Left hand side ultimate comes out here from Sobex catching Allied again. 
Not much to, to going on there. Four hammer coming out onto Sobek. I don't believe it connected there. It might have just skimmed him, but he's managed to kind of get away with that. He's still at half health, though, so we kind of... Well, I'd say he needs to be careful, but I'd say he needs to be careful too long. Now, it's all it's, this game's all in it, really. The win winner of these this best of three will go on to fight Curse. So everybody wants to get into that grand finals and Root want a rematch. They, they want to go up against Curse again. They just... They don't like losing. Nobody likes losing. So we look at Hell really. In mid, she's gone for reinforced boots starter, so she wanted to be a bit tanky. Now, Copenhagen Wolves getting a bit cheeky there, trying to go after the cooldown reduction. Odin's Ring of Spears comes out there with a Shibalanke ult to kind of keep them disorientated. Hell is rotating over, and Four has landed inside of Odin's Ring. It's not going to last too long. Guan Yu ultimate is coming out onto Four. Four's going to take the third hit. They all take the third hit. Nice ult coming in there. Probably going to hit... I don't know who it's going to hit, actually. It might have hit uh, Hell there just to kind of take the blow for him. Four hammer coming out there from... Not four hammer. Four's wall stuns Harrock. But, yeah. He kind of gets gets away with that one. They went for a, like a, a... Trying to a buff steal for the cooldown reduction, but didn't quite get away with that. Ally did see it and decided, no, we're going to contest this. We're not going to let him take... Our buffs. These are our buffs. Quite protective. In the right-hand lane, the tower is being pushed already. Barkus is jumping over. They all love their Christmas skins, don't they? Left-hand side. Four is taking quite a bit of damage from Guan Yu. Guan Yu is on his own, so he's in a bit of a disadvantage here. Maybe a stun wall going to come out anytime soon here. Odin possibly going to jump up? No, they do decide to back off and let him go through. Just keep the, just keep the lane pushed. Surprised they didn't really go, but then again, they didn't have much mana. They couldn't really do much. One more ability, and they would have been kind of a bit worthless if they couldn't catch up with him. Now they decide to back out there, obviously to finish up a few items. Now Odin's gone. For, he's going DPS. Uh, DPS boots as a uh, warrior's tabby coming out there on Odin. Uh, four has finished. Lars has finished up his warrior tabbies. So extra extra penetration coming out there, and. Uh, Attack power, attack speed, crit, chance as well. So he's going to start putting out a bit more damage. I just picked up a couple of wards. But the Copenhagen side, they haven't started warding yet. Everybody's just got potions, just trying to keep a bit... Just a bit more sustain in lane. I reckon they're just trying to get their farm up. Now, Lars's look like he's going to possibly either gank middle or come right. I don't think he's decided quite what they want to do. Shibalanke all coming out there. Just kind of... Keeping everybody back, really. Not, no real reason for that to actually come out. Now, Neef has already finished her Warrior Tavia boots and going in for execution. Now, so get that extra attack speed out. Now, is he going to go up? No, he's just taking, just taking a damage buff. Hell taking considerable amount of damage, but as you can see, Neef is an AD and the auto attacks kind of hurt pretty much. Now. Is Lars going to get caught out here? Maybe Wall? Wall going to come off? Wall does separate the two. Takes a load of damage. Uses his hammer to throw out there, but does get stunned. Well, uses his Aegis. Now, Guan Yu's ult's come out onto Lars before he could use his ultimate and escape. So that's two down there for Copenhagen Wolves. They take first blood and a second one. Now they tower dev. Hell, Hell gets walled off and just takes extra damage from Neef and goes down there. Barkus comes in to get the Belch of the Gods onto Ymir. Ymir not really faced. And this middle tower will go down. It has to go down. Come on. No, they've just decided to back out there. They've caused enough damage there to cause a bit of a scare. So, Sobek on the left with Odin, just doing a bit of a flick up there. Causing quite a bit of damage to him, actually. Seeing as Odin is going for a DPS or bruising build, he will take a bit more damage early on. Just purely because that's where he is. And his passive from Gunya's Might is free. It's not going to help him versus Sobek, because Sobek is a magic, magical character. Or magical god, should we say. Now, everyone's kind of backed out. Maybe rotating middle. Odin is just dropping down some wards around the Gulf Fury. Keep that. Now, some counter warding coming out there from Copenhagen Wolves. So, that's a, a quick 75 gold wasted there quite quite quickly, actually. It wasn't even down that long. But, I so say that's the first first ward. First ward coming out from Copenhagen Wolves. Now, Hell just gets snared there. Probably uses cleanse. Not, no, no, didn't use cleanse in the end. Just to kind of keep herself moving. Just get out there. Uh... Spray didn't put too much aggression onto her. Just kind of got the snare on. Decided to leave her alone. Come out there. But 
Hell is going pretty tanky buildy ish early on. So she's going for Voidstone second. Now that'll put her damage up and also protect her from magical users later on for like Sobek, Guan Yu, Ymir. So it all comes in part and parcel really. Just kind of keep it going, sustain. And obviously she could put out a lot more damage as she has to be a lot closer than anybody else really to just do damage. Well, obviously, other than the melee characters, but yeah, let's see how it goes there. Vampiric Shroud coming out third for Guan Yu there. My overlay is probably covering up, so it's 20 magical power, 100 health, and 5 mana per 5 there. On that. Also taking Boots of the Magi, so instead of just going for a tanky, he's going for more of a, a bruiser, a bruiser magical user as well. So he's going to get that extra penetration going on. As that was a nice addition into one of the patches a little while ago. Or a while ago. Can't quite remember when the patch came out for that. Barker's getting looked at at the right. They are trying to kind of stun him off in the, in the jungle. But he decided to leap out of there. Shibalonka is rotating back to right. Maybe something coming on there. But you, can, you can't really initiate onto a, a Ymir on her kind of lane. Well, left hand side. No, I just saw fall back out a little bit more there. Obviously, used his hammer to get out. Now he's going. It's just so tanky. What can you do? What can Root really do? Versus, it's just like the free tanks that you don't want to go up against. Right hand side here. Odin rotating round. Now, on her, uh, on her taking loads of damage there. Uses Aegis. Gets caught in by the Ring of Spears. Does he have his jump up? No, he's probably going to go down. Gonyas might finishes him off there. Ymir is also in a lot of trouble. Going after Shing on Shibalonke. Nice. Belch of the Gods comes out, stuns Ymir. Odin jumps ahead to stop him getting away. Really, just kind of coloring it off. Now, that's an excellent wall coming out from Ymir. Just blocking off to, like, Shing and Barkus. Gonna, is he going to get away with this one? Let's speed it back up just so I don't do slow-mo run. We do the old Baywatch bit now. Allied couldn't get Ganya's might onto him. And he manages to get away with it. Now, that wall was superb. It just kind of... It's the normal defensive wall where you're running away, you drop it in front of you and just drop it back up. And in the left-hand lane, there's a bit more action going on, a bit more tower diving. But yeah, it just... It stopped Shing's somersault leap catching up with him. Dead in its tracks. It was just perfect. It was well, well, just kind of like luckily timed, really. You, you know, if you're, you're a Ymir, you just kind of drop your defensive wall, run over it, get out of there and just try and stay alive, which he managed to do, which was really, really well played by him. Now, let's look at the the gold. Gold is uh, 2k ahead for Copenhagen Wolves with a 3-1 free, free death lead. Well, kill lead, should I say. Now, Ymir has gone boost of celerity and mark, uh, mystical mark, so... There's a lot of, well, there's going to be a lot of uh, physical protection coming out there, obviously, obviously as you have a Shibalonke 4 and Odin, which are going to be doing most of the damage as Barkus is going quite tanky. Ymir has seen Barkus and Shibalonke. Maybe going to try for a little steal. Belch of the Gods comes out there. Shibalonke also comes out there, which may have been a bit wasted, but another wall stops Shibalonke's somersault in its tracks. Now, Barkas did manage to jump in through that, as that's mainly what he was aiming for. Middle lane here, going on. Guan Yu ults onto Lars. Lars and Hell both use their ages to get out of there. Also, Four uses his ha uh, sprint and wall. Now, he's gonna, is he going to get caught up there? He does get caught by a Neath ult. I thought maybe the charge from Sobek would have been coming out. Shivalonke as well, getting taken down in that process. Over on the right. Now, Barkus also needs to kind of be a bit careful here. Where did he go? There he goes. It's just kind of... Now, Ymir is in a bad spot. Now, I'm hoping there's some creeps coming up. That tower will go down pretty much straight away, so he doesn't have to worry too much. Odin rotating right. Just going to take out the, the mini creeps. Well, the, the mini jungle creeps, as we like to call them, or uh, XP creeps. I don't know. What are we going to call them? XP jungle? Now, Ymir rotating into middle, going to come up behind Hell. Hell is going to be in a lot of trouble here. Get, she uses the cleanse, stops the stun coming off. Neef also misses the snare from her one. Guan Yu's coming in here, charges straight in, uses it is free. Now, Hell's just going to get taken down by Ymir's ult. Nowhere for her to go. She did try to use the cleanse to get out of there. Stun wall from four coming out, but also block his, blocks his advance onto 
Guan Yu. Guan Yu charges through to Odin. Shibalonke coming out, uses the poison darts and somersault across there. Gets a couple of hits, uses his ult to try and just slow this down. Odin uses the spear ring, get in there. He's not really doing too much. Guan Yu is might coming out there. Take Hawks taking uh, quite a lot of damage there on Guan Yu. Shibalonke is just <laughs> four coming in, landed straight down onto Guan Yu, taking loads of damage. Farkas does take out Guan Yu with his ultimate. Four gets stunned up against the wall by on his on her spear. Walls and stuns Ymir and on her on her ult doesn't quite get it. Neef all coming in there, wall coming out. So Neef manages to pick off that last kill with her ultimate. This is like an action-packed game and a half, isn't it? Uh, well, <laughs> what I'm gonna say there. There was a charge out from Sobek, put uh, Chubalonke against the wall. Hell, uh, Neef come in there, used a, few, a snare and a few aura attacks, and just pretty much melted to those three. As Chubalonke is quite, well, not quite squishy, is extremely quish, uh, squishy. Now, will Copenhagen Wolves be going for the Gulf Fury? They are looking like, yeah, they're just gonna go for it. Why not? You've just taken out. Uh, taking out a few root gaming, even though only one's down now. Hell and Barkers have seen this. Wall from Ymir is going to wall this off. Now they've taken that out pretty just uncontested. Root looked on, couldn't do anything about it. Barkers could have probably jumped through the wall to maybe try and get a steal, but it didn't quite happen. Now Neve's taken the red buff for Copenhagen Wolves. It's obviously her side there. Now... Copenhagen Wolves, I would say, need to start getting the wards going out. Neef is the only one, no, actually. Three, three characters on that side have wards, but we only have one on the map, as obviously Root are quite good at counter warding and really kind of play on it quite heavily. Now everyone's kind of going back to lane. There's quite a lot of uh, range minions there. Should take one, one spear from on... On her, or is it and her? And her? I think it's and her. Going out. Spin from Sobex, knocking back Odin and four. So, keeping that lane pushed up a little bit. Probably not going to do too much. Guan Yu coming around. Are they going to prevent? They do prevent Odin from jumping back. Sobek comes in there with his ultimate to slow down Odin. Odin leaps out of the way, usually sprints. Ultimate from uh, Guan Yu just stopped in its tracks by... Lars there with a perfectly placed defensive wall just to kind of lock lock them into the jungle. Let Allied get out of there. And yeah, just just wasted two ults there for a kill. They, they, they didn't even take him below half health. So, But at least they're keeping him pushed under the tower. Lars is now backing off, finishing up. Now Neef has finished their execution. They're going on to Deathbringer. Got a level one Deathbringer coming out. Spikes coming out onto Barkas. Barkas leaping in. Is he going to use Belch? Belch of the Gods comes out, but gets stunned in the middle of it. Uses beads to get out of there. Or was that cleanse from hell? Not 100% sure. Shibalanke also getting onto Ymir. They all like a piece of that Ymir, don't they? Really, they love him. This is it, Barkas. Barkas does, he does have beads, so he probably used beads there, even though probably hell could have cleansed it out of him. There's three Copenhagen Wolves left side there with a soul four, so... There could be some tower dive action coming on now. Now they decide to back out, finish a few more items, and crack on. Two mystical marks coming out for Copenhagen Wolves onto Sobek and Ymir. Now, on her has finished. Well, Belt of the Gods onto Guan Yu. Guan Yu getting spun up by four. Stunwall coming out there. Guan Yu using his ultimate as well, going up quite aggressively on here. Just makes him back out pretty much. Ymir and. Ymir and Neath being chased down by Odin here. I don't know if they actually seen this coming up there, but there's four root on the left-hand side versus three. Ymir's stun coming out onto Barkas, holds him in his place. Lit jumps in there, but intoxication comes out from him. Wall goes up in the middle. Four also using his spin attack, using his three, getting around there, using, causing loads of damage. Allied taking a lot of damage. Sobek's ult coming out there, going on, to, chasing after hell pretty much, trying to knock it down a little bit. Allied taking a lot of damage from... Neef jumps out of the way. He's also using sprint. Picked onto Shing. He's perfectly holding him in place. Free there. Uses his beads to kind of... Or, no, that was the cleanse there from hell. Just to keep him safe. Allied went back in. Took loads of damage from a stun from Ymir. Charged from Guan Yu. And then also a Sobek. Uh, axe throws. No, his fingers is free. On, uh, 
four, taking a lot of damage from Neef as he was in the creep wave, didn't really want to be there. This tower is likely to go down. And then the right hand side, Copenhagen Wolves and her pick up by on Shing again from Sobek. So it's been la Spooch has been landing these perfectly. So much damage going out onto Shing. I don't even know really where all the damage was actually coming from. Probably the Neef. And Shing does go down. It's a 10 2 lead to Copenhagen Wolves, and they took out two towers in that engagement with a split push from Anher. And then that'd be the third tower going down. Uh, a wolf from Ymir, just kind of because he felt like it. That's pretty much all I can really say of that one. He just felt like doing it. So we got a tanky help. Should be putting out a little bit more damage now as she's finished off her Void Blade. Now going for best place of Valor, though. So mm, she's just going tanky. Um... An annoying tanky support, but she won't be able to put out too much damage. They could probably do with a bit more damage. They do have a four and a Shibalanke. But their Shibalanke is more of a late game. They kind of they need to get to the late game for Shibalanke to kind of really start getting his damage output out. Everyone's just kind of backing up, getting their buffs now. Creeping up. Damage buff. Movement speed buff. Did Ymir get the movement speed buff? I believe he did. No. Nope. I wonder who actually got that. Now, yeah, well, Guan Yu in a sticky little situation here, kind of just dangerously just having a little look, really. Still, all the war coverage is on Root Gaming. Now, uh, Copenhagen Wolves have decided to put some down on the right-hand side. Odin and Barkus coming and have a look at... No, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. I'm terrible with names. Guan Yu, that is it. Some names are easy, some names are just like, nah, not going to happen. On her, on the uh, Copenhagen Wolves, has finished his Executioner and Devourer's Glove, so a lot of damage down there. Pick up from Sobek onto Allard. Allard taking loads of damage. Also gets snared in there by Neef, using his rings to jump straight out of there. It's going to take a few hits from, I don't know, what was it, Sobek? Sobek and Ymir. Ymir does stun Matty Pocket there on Barkus. Barkus does jump out the wall, even though he's walled in. So, on her, coming up. Uh, on the side, not really going to do too much. Decides to back out as well. Are they going to take the Gold Fury? Yes, they will be going for after the Gold Fury. So that'll be the second Gold Fury of the game that they've taken. And it's pretty much uncontested as well. Root will see this going down with the little ward there. They should, well, yeah, the vision should be enough just to kind of peek around the corner. But yeah, let's look. If you can look at the, the item progress really here, we've got four items on. Four to five items on Copenhagen Wolves versus two to three items on Root Gaming. So Root Gaming are almost like a whole item behind. Neef has finished her Deathbringer, so there's so much more damage going to be coming out from her. And they're going to go straight for the Fire Giant as well. Will Root Gaming try and contest this? Guan Yu kind of zoning out Hell and Barkus a little bit. Barkus comes in there with the Belt of the Gods. And Shing is now coming in on Shibalanke. Let's have a look. Belt of the Gods coming in. The Matty Pocket tries to go in there trying to get a steal. Doesn't manage to get the steal and taking on her ult to the face. Shibalanke uh, does come in there, gets, I don't know, on her. And Neef gets four as well. Shibalanke in a bad situation here. Neef's just auto attacking everything. Everybody's just hammering down onto Shing. And he uses his Aegis to kind of protect himself there. But it was all for nothing. Hell taking loads of damage there. All the crits coming out from. That Neef, that Neef is just causing so much problems for the, the Root Gaming team. And she just drops. <laughs> like a sack of, yeah, you know what I mean. So now Root Gaming are in a really bad situation here. They're, what are they? They're about 15k gold behind. That is a considerable amount of gold. As you can see by the items going on. Just literally the quantity of items is why... This game is spiraling out of control for Root. Root needs to kind of get a good engagement on. Fire. Pick up on Allied again. Shiver. Oh. How, do, how, do, how do you commentate that? That was just like, boom. Pick up. Neef snares. And he just died. That, that was all that was. That was just loads coming out from there. Ymir hasn't even finished his Boots of Celerity. He's kind of just left it at level 2. You, can't, you do get the 20% movement speed buff. So that's the same as anybody else. And you haven't actually had to spend the extra, like, was it a thousand, thousand gold? Because it's about a thousand gold for level two on the boots of Slurry. Now, Shibalonke has finished his Devourer's Gloves and moving on to Titan's Bane. So, some more penetration going to come out from him. Yeah, pretty much. 
the only people with like physical protection on Copenhagen Wolves is Sobek and Ymir though. So you really don't want to be focusing the tanks anyway, but it's all going to help. Voidblade as well finished up on four. And level one coming out onto Odin. Look at look at the wards items on Copenhagen Wolves. Copenhagen Wolves have everybody in their team has wards. All at all three items just coming back there. Pick up on Shing as well. Shing kind of just on the run. Not much he can do. Gonna kind of Neef coming in. No Alt coming in there. Snares him right up. On her Alt's oh, on to Shing, but Shing misses most of it. Stunned against the wall and gets finished off there. He was trying to run, had nowhere to go, had to run into the enemy territory just to kind of get away and then just got intercepted mid-process. Now that Neef all, I kind of just look at Neef as more of a snare bot. <laughs> That's really all she is. She uses the one for a snare, she uses her ultimate for a snare, and then the left lane lane four is trying, Lars is trying to push down this tower, but Guan Yu has arrived to kind of save the day, if you may see. Now, two Phoenixes have gone down and the right Phoenix is going to go down as well for Root Gaming. Neve's finished up her Brawler Stick to kind of compensate for Hell's healing. Just, well, she's putting out so much damage now that uh, Hell's healing is kind of like irrelevant at the moment. Later on, it could be a bit of a problem, but it looks like they're going to go for the final push, waiting for the fire minions to come in here and push on there. Pushes back allied with Honor's Spear. Belch of the Gods coming out from Barkus. Ymir ults as well, just to kind of say that. And Sobek does as well, Intoxication. And the Minotaur goes down for Root Gaming. So, Copenhagen Wolves go up 1-0 in this best of three. With a quite quite a commanding game, really. They did that exceptionally well. Now, I'll see you guys in game two. And let's see if we can get an US-EU final, eh?